One of the most beautiful locomotives ever built is number 340 for the Chemin de Fer de Paris à Orléans in 1883. Number 340 was built to design of Victor Forcano de la Fortelle in the 1870s. Born in 1817, Forcano had trained under Jean Cockerill at Serang in Belgium and later trained as a draftsman in Paris. His first job was working on the Chemin de Fer du Nord and in 1852 was appointed engineer of the Chemin de Fer de Paris à Orléans, and he later succeeded Camille Polonceau as engineer en chef of motive power and traction in 1859. He died in post in 1885. Hitherto, most French express passenger locomotives had either been Crampton's or 240 long baller type locomotives a type of locomotive which had all the wheels between the cylinders and the firebox. They were a compact design, but unstable at high speed. Therefore, Forcano solved this problem of stability by adding an extra axle behind the firebox. This created a 242 locomotive, or in French parlance, a 1 also known as the Columbia type. The first appeared in 1873, and the paris Orléans, together with many of the French lines, including the PLM, built them for the next 20 or so years, until larger designs were needed. At a time when locomotive designers in Britain were doing their very best to hardware the cylinders, pistons and valve gear, Forcano, like many French engineers before him, thought this was highly impractical. It made the working parts inaccessible, and difficult and therefore expensive to maintain. Thus Forcano, like Paul Lonceau before him, advocated not only outside cylinders, but outside valve gear too. In this case, a variation of the Allen straight link, the motion for which was derived from a return crank on the driven axle. Despite being a classic of French design, number 340 was in fact built in Britain, in Manchester, by Sharp, Stewart and Company in 1883, as their works number 3055. The Forcano type was capable of handling trains of up to 200 tonnes at speeds of 50 to 60 miles per hour. The most distinctive part of the design is the brass sheeting on the cylinders, valve chest boiler and boiler fittings. Combined with the light blue-grey paint livery of the paris Orléans. the type has to be one of the most good-looking locomotives ever built, although this paint scheme rather undid Forcano's mantra of ease of maintenance. Presumably he had shares in the French version of Brasso. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please like, share and subscribe. I'd also like to thank my Patreon supporters for making this video possible. And if you haven't already, please consider supporting Rail Story for as little as a takeaway cup of coffee once per month. And see you all next time on Rail Story.